Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Katerina and I'm your English teacher from Canada. In today's video, you will learn 10 useful phrases for taking the city bus. Travel around the city with confidence. All right, let's get started. First, let's address the phrase taking the bus. Don't get confused. The verb taking can be used in different ways. It can have a literal meaning. For example, I am taking a book back to the library. But here, in taking the bus, it's a collocation. It's a group of words that are commonly paired together. Taking the bus means using the bus or going on the bus to get from one place to another as your mode of transportation. This is a widely used collocation in English. Taking can be paired with lots of other activities as well, like taking an elevator or taking a taxi. And lastly, before we get into our phrases, let me give you three quick tips. Number one is be polite. You can be polite by starting any one of these questions with excuse me. It's a great short phrase to get someone's attention. Two, assume people want to help. Sometimes we feel shy or nervous when approaching someone we don't know. Just breathe and ask your question. And finally, three, show gratitude. You can show gratitude with a simple Thank you. Thank the person that took their time to help you. Okay, and now let's begin with our 10 phrases for taking the bus, starting with the price. How much does the bus cost? Number one, how much is the bus fare? Two, how much does it cost to take the bus? Three, if I pay with cash, do I need exact change? Typically, when you board the bus, you will see a small container right beside the bus driver where you can put your cash if you are paying with cash. Cash is like dollar bills and coins. Most buses cannot give you change, but it's good to ask because you just never know. I've seen different cities have different kinds of buses. So when you put in your $5, for example, if the cost of the bus is $3, you will not get change. Your change would have been $2. So this is a great uh, question. Do I need exact change? Exact change means you must have exactly $3 to take this bus because you will not get any money back. Four. Are there any discounts available for children, students, or seniors? Having traveled around Canada and seen the bus systems in different cities, I think this is a great question. You might have a reduced fare available for you and not even know about it. Five, what options are available for purchasing bus fare? Different options might be available. Here are some follow-up questions. Is there a day pass? You can take the bus as many times as you want all day for one price. Is there a discount for a pack of tickets? For example, maybe one ticket is $3, but 10 tickets is $25 you get a discount of $5. How much is the monthly pass? Is a monthly pass available? If you take the bus often, it might be helpful for you to just get a monthly pass. For one price, you can take the bus as many times as you want all month long. Next, let's talk about your destination. Let's make sure you get to where you need to go. Six, does this bus go to? 
insert your location here. For example, it can be a street name, an intersection. An intersection is two streets that come together like a cross or a landmark. For example, does this bus go to Trinity Bellwoods Park? Does this bus go to Young and Wellesley? 7. Can I get a transfer ticket, please? I need to switch buses. Very often when we are traveling by bus, we might need to take two buses to get to our final destination. For example, you might be traveling north and then you need to get off your bus and take another bus east. This is called a transfer. I need to transfer to another bus. And it's the same word that we tend to use for these tickets. I need a transfer ticket. So you can ask um, the bus driver, maybe they will give you a transfer ticket when you board the bus. Uh, sometimes the ticket itself already includes transfers. So this is a fantastic question to just clarify how the transfer system works on this particular city bus. Eight, which bus stop should I get off at for a landmark or place? For example, which bus stop should I get off at for the CN Tower? Maybe you are going to a new and unfamiliar area of the city you live in, or maybe you are a tourist in a new city. You are not sure exactly which bus stop to get off at. So this is a great question. You will make sure you get off at the right stop so you don't have to walk an unnecessary distance. And finally, let's answer a few questions you might have that will help you to travel with more comfort. Nine, are there any delays or disruptions on this route? There might be all sorts of things going on around the city that might cause a delay on your particular route. Maybe there is a parade. Maybe there is construction. This is a great question so that you know to expect a delay or a detour. A delay is if you have to wait longer for your bus or it takes longer to get somewhere. A detour is where your bus will take the expected route, but at some point it has to go around an obstacle and come back to your expected route. This is very helpful information to know because maybe your stop is somewhere along that disrupted part of the route so you can get off the bus before you make a turn. 10. How often or how frequently does this bus run? Depending on how busy this particular route is, the bus might come every 5 minutes, every 10 minutes, every 30 minutes, right? And it's very helpful information. If I know a bus comes every 30 minutes, I will check the schedule on the website and I will make sure I am there five minutes before the scheduled time. If I know a bus comes very frequently, maybe it's a very busy street and the bus comes every five minutes, I'm not going to bother checking the schedule. I'm just going to go to the bus stop and wait there. I hope these 10 phrases will help you take the bus with confidence. These phrases focused on local buses that travel within the town or city. But what about buses that travel between cities or even countries? There is a bus that goes from Toronto to New York in, I believe, eight hours. Well, those buses require going to a special bus terminal and you might have all sorts of other questions. If you would be interested in a lesson about taking the bus between different cities or countries, I would be happy to make that video for you. Just leave me a comment. And guys, please, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up as it greatly supports my work on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.
Just a quick outro for anyone that has decided to stick around. You might have noticed Marshall was not in today's video. Um, he has actually been lying on the floor right beside me this whole time. <laughs> Would you like to say hi?